couple of minutes and we'll uh, start the magic workshop and we'll have a little bit of fun. Uh, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is uh, Shiloh brought a magician that's got 40 to 50 years of experience, but he isn't here, so you get me and I got 40 minutes. <laughs> it's not the same. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for some fun? Yeah. All right. This is a little bit different than last year. It's not a show, although I will do something quick just to add a little bit of fun to the uh, program. Do you see that right there? Right between my fingers, that is invisible until I wave and snap and then it becomes visible. That's silver lint. I have a hard time holding on to money. <laughs> Love it when it jumps to my pocket. Watch it travel from place to place. Friends can make it disappear. What's your name? What is it? Emerson, what a beautiful name. I got a beautiful name too, Phil. Oh. Emerson, would you blow on the money? Blow on it. Oh, she's good. She's good at making it disappear. But finding it, I see where the birthday boy hides the money. Come on in, front row seats. I should point out the front row seats are free, back row seats, $300 each. Just saying. All right. I am going to perform a mat. I'm trying to figure out which one I think you guys might like best. Let's do the rubber band. Hi, come on in, come on in. You got, grab those seats, grab those seats. I think they're going to even make some more chairs appear, just like magic. All right, watch the rubber band, watch the rubber band. Do you see what two fingers it is on? My index finger and my middle finger. So pointing finger and middle finger, watch. All I do, say the magic words, abracadabra, and it jumps to the other two fingers. That was fast, I know, that was fast. I'll do it again, even though nobody asked. Watch, and it jumps back. Would you like to know how that's done? Yes. Me too. Okay. Let's see. Here's what we do. You start. I'm going to teach it, and then I'm going to give rubber bands to everyone. Just because I want you to pay attention. So, the secret, kind of like a lot of magic, happens behind the scenes. Here's what's happening. It starts on your first two fingers. You pull it back. When you pull it back, don't pull way back, but pull it back, and you're gonna put all your fingers, all four fingers, into that rubber band. Here's the tricky part. Try and keep it uh, by your first knuckle. If you go to the second knuckle, it could fall off easy. Early, I should say. So, from the front, it looks like just two, from the back, really, you got all your fingers in there. So now when you open your hand, it automatically jumps to the other two. I'm going to show you that again. It starts on two fingers, in this case, the pinky and the ring finger. You pull the rubber band back, put all four fingers in, open your hand and it will automatically jump to the other side. Now I recommend when you do it that you actually wave your hand in front so they don't see that it's just how it's actually jumping over, okay? Or you can even, uh, whoops, sorry. You can eat, wow, all of a sudden I can't do it. <laughs> you can also snap something to kind of take the attention away from that moment. All right, let me give everyone a rubber band. Moms, you're welcome to have one too. Some are a little, I, I don't really know the different sizes. I wish there were smaller ones. Maybe a yellow might be the smaller. Oops, sorry. 
Oh, I guess the blue might be. What do you think? What do you think? How about you? Would you like one? Yeah. Maybe a small blue would work. <gasps> let's see if we got a small blue one in there. Oh, it's blue. Try that. Let's see if that works. Go ahead, reach in there, take one. Take one. Whoops. Go ahead, girls. Would you like one? Let's see if we got a small one for you. Maybe that one. Oh, let's get some for you guys in the back. Oh, is that a magic video? Oh, the em emoji video. Didn't they just come out? Oh, I'm thinking inside out. I was going to say they just came out for part two. Did you get one? <gasps> Would you like one? Let's see if I got a small blue. That's about as small as it might get. There you go. You. Did you get one? <gasps> Take one. Got one? All right. Did everyone get one, all the kids? You can try two if you want. Sweet. Of course. I would say, Mom, you're, you're probably going to have to try it. I'm not sure, sure if the, that will work. <laughs> all right. So let's all try it together. Let's all start with the rubber band on your first finger, middle finger, around those two. Everyone, stretch that back, put your fingers. When I stretch back, by the way, I kind of, instead of straight back, I put two fingers in, so it's more like a square. And you're gonna put all four fingers in that rubber band when you pull it back. Again, the best thing to do, keep it under your first knuckles, first knuckles, okay? Again, only because if you put it up higher, it might f jump off earlier, okay? Then, if you've got that, all you gotta do is open your hands, a little wave in front, and it will automatically jump to the other side. So again, on the first two, pull back, Fingers go in. Oh, start on two. You started it on four. Start on two. Pull back. The four is behind the scenes. From the front, it should just look like two. Then when you open, it automatically jumps. Can, any, can anyone do that already? All right. Let's um, try it again. Two fingers, pull the rubber band back, pull it back, so all four fingers behind go in the rubber band, okay, like that, oh, pretty good, let me, so start it on two though, oh, that's a big rubber band for you. This might work a little better. I think it's a little bit smaller. Put it just on two fingers. Now, pull it back and put all four fingers in. That's pretty good. All four fingers, whoop, I see. Uh, whoop, 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 open. So all, whoop, now close. All four fingers, there. Now when you open, open, oop. If it had stayed on, that would have worked. <laughs> That's an even better trick. How are we doing back there? Can we do it? Whew. How about you pros in the back? Can you do it? Yeah? Oh, gosh, yes. Mm, 
That might be the smallest size. Yeah. Oh, sorry. All right. Let's try it on this side. Two fingers on. Pull back. Behind the scenes, you put all four fingers in. But from the front, it looks like there's still two. When you open your hand, the magic happens. Nice job. Nice job. Raise your hand if you can do it. All right. I'd love to have a few of you that can already do it. Come on up and perform. Raise your hand if you'd like to come up and try it. My young friend with the unicorn and the rainbow. What's your name? Eliza. Oh, what a coincidence. I'm Phil. All right. <laughs> Eliza, let's watch Eli Eliza, right? Everyone, ladies and gentlemen, Eliza. <laughs> Pull back. All four fingers in. And ready. Hey! <laughs> Nicely done. All right, who's next? Who's next? Yes! Her brother. It's a family show. I love it. Oh, you're going to perform for everyone, not just me. I'll watch, though. So pull it. Oh, pull it back. All four fingers in. Open. Whoop, it got caught, but you had it. Oh God. Oh pull, pull back. <laughs> pull it back. All four fingers in. Oops. Just on two. That's it. And then pull back. All four fingers in. Open. Oh, I see what happened. You took one finger out. Try it one more time. Pull back. All four fingers in. All four fingers. Okay. Now, no, 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 don't take that finger out. Just open. Just open. Yes! Hey! All right. Who, how about my friend back here, young lady? What's your name? No? You're gonna, you want me to wait and saw you in half. Okay. Would you be willing? Really? Nobody's throwing any eggs or anything at us. Oh, come on up. Buddy. Oh, have, did you just get here? So you haven't seen how it's done, but I love his enthusiasm. All right. What's your name? Sammy. What is it? Sammy. Jammy? No, Sammy. Oh, Sammy. All right, Sammy, come on up here. Watch what we're doing. Uh, let's get you a rubber band. Okay. That might be big. Try that. Oh, that might be big too. Do I have a small blue? Oh, that might work. All right, Sammy, turn and face me so we're going the same way. Now, pull that back. It's on two fingers. Pull it back. Pull it back. Put all four fingers in. Oh, yeah. Now open. Oh, oh, my, oh. so you did the right thing. You pulled it back, but then put the fingers in and let it go. And then open. Okay, with work, you're going to get it. I love it, Sammy. Love it. Grab oh, you can take that. You can take that. I'm billing the library for the rubber bands. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> All right. Anyone else want to give it a shot, young man? All right, give him a round of applause. What's your name? Cohen. Cohen? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Cohen. Hey! Cohen, you got it perfect. I would just wave your hand, snap your fingers, something just to let him know right before the magic happens. That was awesome. All right. I don't know, do you think you could do as good as Cohen? I bet you could. All right. You want to try? Come on up. What's your name? Dax. Jack? Dax. Oh, Dax. That's a cool name. I feel like you should be in the Avengers. Oh, that's Drax. Okay. All right. So in, on two. Pull it back. Yep. 
and open. Hey! Look at this, we got pros. Do you need a rubber band? Wow, you must be a queen. You got the queen's throne. Let's get you a rubber band. All right. Should we move on? Yeah. All right. Different trick? Yeah. Practice that at home. Let's see. My birthday boyfriend. What's your name? Fisher? Fisher. 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 What? Watch what Fisher's going to do. What? He's going to choose a card. Okay, or the top one, sure. Show everyone. Don't let me see it. Look at it. Don't say it. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, Fisher. Don't let me see it. Push it. Push her back into the deck, Fisher. Is it face down? That face down? Like this, Fisher. Okay. All right. Now, behind my back is where the secret magic happens. Ooh. And now, when I did that, Behind my back, Fisher, I was able to find your card and turn it over. So it's the only card going the opposite way of all the others. What's your card? The seven hearts. Seven of hearts? No. Seven of spades. Seven of spades. So the red seven of hearts. Uh, the black seven of hearts. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. All right. Yes, clapping's allowed. Thank you. <laughs> Are you guys ready to learn that one? Yeah. You want to learn that one? Yeah. Me too. All right. Here we go. Here's the secret move. You already, like in a lot of magic tricks, boys and girls, you have to do a little secret preparation. One card is reversed on the bottom of the deck. That's the secret. You have to do that in advance. You have someone choose a card. Would you choose a card? Okay. When you spread. Oh, you didn't get a card? No, I'm kidding. When you spread, don't spread too far. You don't want them to see that bottom card reversed. So just from the top, maybe to the middle. Say, choose a card. If they go for the bottom, pull away. Don't let them get it. All right, what's your name? Remy. Remy, cool name. All right. When they are showing the card around, watch how easy this is. You're going to turn this deck over. But that way it still looks the same. Watch. And it doesn't have to be that complicated. When you come back here, you put it in the other hand and turn it over. You can just say, hey, I don't want to see. It's all done. That's the secret move. All you're doing is turning that over, and then the rest is almost automatic. So, Remy, did you show the card? Show the card to everyone. I'll take a sip of water while you do that. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, turning around. Remember, Back here, I had flipped the cards over, so this is really what it looks like now. They're all face up, except for the top card is face down. But it looks like it did before. You come back to Remy. Remy, don't let me see the card. They, oop, you tell them to put it in the middle. You can help them because you don't want them to lift up on the cards and see, right? You push it in. You've got one more thing to do. Now, you can do it the easy way, which is the same way I just did it. When you turn your body around back to, you just flip that top card over. If you want to get a little bit more advanced, behind your back, you can just flip that top card over. Either way works. 
And then when you come back out, the magic's already done because of that secret preparation. So one more time, you start with a card where, boys and girls? Top or bottom? Top or bottom? Bottom. Should it be, and it should be face down. You have someone choose a card. Don't spread too far. They show the card around. As they do that, remember, all you're going to do is turn your body and the deck into the other hand, and that already sets you up in the right position. You turn back. What's your name? Olive. What a pretty name. Olive, push it back in the middle. Oh, face down. There we go. Now, remember, this is what you've got. All the cards are face up except for the one Olive just put in here. It's in here. It's an old deck, so it doesn't. Oh, it's bright. No. Oh, Olive, I know you put it in here. Did I put it in? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Scared me for a minute. Again, you have two options. You can turn around and just flip that top card over, or you can do it more advanced behind your back. You wouldn't do this to the audience, and you're flipping that top card over. You would do it, obviously, like this so they don't see you do that. But the easier way, just turn your whole body around, flip it over, come back. Wave, snap, and you show Olive's card has turned face up. Questions? Yes? Why do you like, have to, to put all of them face up and some of them face down? Good question. Because by doing that secret preparation, having this done in advance, it creates the magic for you because all of these are going one way when you flip the card over and they've chosen a card would you choose a card yeah. now watch what what's your name Eliza watch Eliza when behind your back you're just gonna flip this over you do that because it sets you up when they put it back now. Watch, put it back. I would not normally show you this, but see how it goes back in the opposite way of all the other cards? So that's your magic already done. All you've got to do, uh, uh, was it, not Olive, uh, Elijah. It, Elijah. No, Eliza. Eliza. <laughs> so that's it. Does that make sense? Yes. Who would like to come up and try this? Oh, come on up. Oh, okay, we got two. You're next. You're, you're, you're next. Um, let's have a lot, only because Eliza was raising her hand. You're next. What's your name? Dax. I just met a Dax. That was, that's awesome. Okay. What are you going to do? What's the first thing you're going to do? Oh, before that, what are you going to do before the trick starts? Put one the opposite way on the bottom. Yes. Now, maybe have Dax choose a card. Oh, not that way. This way. So just spread a few for him. Ask him to choose a card. Very good. He shows the card to everyone. You always tell the... Uh, person that helps to show the card for a couple of reasons. One, so they, in case they forget, someone else can help remember. And two, you guys wouldn't run into this, but I run into jokers that want to tell you the wrong card purposely. <laughs> so that way you've got witnesses. All right. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Are, are you the guys we're going to be soaring in half? <laughs> Come on in. Okay, ask him to put it back. Did you flip it over? When you, when you turned around, you would have flipped it over so that it's 
this way. Okay. Ask him to put it in. You can ha there we go. Let it push it in for him. And now turn around. Turn around. Flip that top card over. That one. And now turn back and just, now you're going to wave or say some magic words or snap to create the magic moment. You want to let them know something just special happened. A snap, a wave, magic words, abracadabra, hocus pocus, chicken bone chocus. Okay, you get it. You get the idea. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, whatever you like for magic words. Oh, and a snap. I love it. And you spread the cards out and show. Dax. I know, it's a little bit tricky. It's an old deck. We keep spreading, 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 and spreading. Oh, and there's one card. Dax, is that your card? Uh, I think. <laughs> and that's why we have you show it to others. <laughs> it was a four heart. No, it was a five heart. Seriously? Four hearts. Four hearts. Wow. Wow. It's a five heart. It's a five heart. I think it must have been a five because that's the only one that was upside down. Oh, no, they're right. There was a second one in there. That was my goof. That was my goof. She got it. Give her a round of applause. What's the first thing you do, Dax? Nope, nope, nope. What do you got to do before the trick starts? Okay. One goes face down on the bottom. One goes where? Face down, face down, on, the bottom. Face down on the bottom. All right. Dax, you choose anyone you want to choose a card. Excellent. And as you make sure you flip it over, you can always peek. You can do it behind and make sure you got it set up right, which is just like that. Perfect. Then turn back. Don't show them the card. Oh, don't, don't do that. <laughs> You're going to ask him to push it back in the middle. Face down. So, boys and girls, you want to put the card in face down. If you put it face up, the magician knows what they're seeing. Now, that's it. Come back here. And, and now just flip that top card over. Top card. We didn't flip it. No, nope, that one. And now, well, no, no, and put it on. And now when you come back, you're going to snap, you're going to wave, you're going to say magic words. What are you going to do? Okay, a wave. And now watch this, guys. Watch the magic. Dak, show them. Spread the cards. And say, your card. I turned your card face up. If that's for me, I'm busy. I think the card went down. Uh-oh. Really? He put it face up. Oh. I thought you had it. Oh, did we have? No? No, 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 no. Okay. So, remember, when you flip. So, when you're back here, try it. I'm going to let Dax try it again. When you're back here, make sure it's set up like this. Then, I think when you came back, you flipped it again, because when you were back here, you had it right. Remember I said, check that it's like this. Then you come out, and they put their card back in, but their card will be this way, okay? So. Everyone, how should Dax start the trick before it starts? One card goes where? Face up, uh, uh, yeah, face the opposite way on the bottom. All right, turn. Uh, let's have this young lady choose a card. Don't spread too much. Just a few. Whoop, see, that's why we went just from the top down. Say, choose a card. All right. Show the card around for us. Now, back here, you make sure it's flipped. Now check. Is that flipped? Sure is. Keep it square now. Come back. Say, ask her to put it. No, don't spread those cards. Just ask her to put it back in. Put it back in. 
Okay, push it in. Now back here, flip the top card over. No, 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 not the deck, the top card. All right, no, 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 put it right there, like that. Now turn around and wave. Show them, show her that her card, spread the cards, has, oh, I see it in there. Here's a, here's a way to spread cards, guys. In your fingers, the other hand here, just kind of push them. Push. If it's easier, you could even spread it like on a table. And if you got small hands, you could spread some, put it down, spread some more, put it down <gasps> until you see it, right? Try the, now, now spread and show her her card is turned face up. Round of applause for Dax. Is there any, wow, hello. Where have you guys been? Of course, it's okay. So we're going to, um, is there anyone here that's will, that understands that card trick willing to come up and try it? Any of the older kids? You got it? Come on up, young man in the back. What's your name? Jay? All right, Jay, what's the first thing you do? spread the cards. No. Nope. What do you do before that? What What do you do with one card? You give it to a person. Starts on the bottom, remember? Like that. Okay. I'm forgetting. Do you remember the rest? Yeah, and then you give a card. And then you Let them choose a card. Yeah. And yeah. Let's have one of our new campers uh, choose a card. Perfect, we got a full house. This is gonna look great on film. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jay has had someone choose a card. You wouldn't wanna peek. When you turn back here, what do you do? No, nope. you flip the whole deck over. Right. Oh wait, yeah, whole deck over so that they're, except yeah. for that one, okay? Now ask him to put it back in, turn around. Ask him to push it right in the middle. Say, so no. push that in the middle. Oop, oh, face down. You wouldn't want him to see it. Push it in. Excellent. Now, Jay turns around. Flip that top card over. And now turn back to the audience. What's your name? Jordan. Jordan? Jordan. And show, look. Hey, we got a winner, winner, chicken dinner. So I'm going to show all our friends that just came in. Jay, awesome job. High five. Nice. Huh. High five. <laughs> Jay. There you go. All right. So a recap for those that learned it and a lesson for those that just came in. Watch this so you don't miss it. Put that down so you don't distract others. Watch this. This is called the automatic card discovery because if you do it, it automatically happens. You have a secret maneuver, secret preparation in advance. You're turning one card over on the bottom. So basically it's going the opposite way on the bottom. You have someone choose a card. They show the audience a card when they're doing that. Watch this. Behind your back, you're flipping the entire deck over. So now they're all face up except for that top card. She shows the card. You have her push it back in, but remember, here's the real position, but you don't show them that. 
You ask your helper to push it in. Now, all you've got to do is turn this top card over. You can turn around and turn it over. Or, if you want to be trickier, behind your back, normally I would do that this way, behind your back, you flip it over. I recommend for you guys, do the easy way. Turn around, flip it over, come back out. Because the cards were the opposite way, her cards automatically going to be face up in the deck. See? Was that your three? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Let's see. Moving on. At the end, I'm going to have a few people come up and perform the tricks we learned today again. Nobody's safe. Nobody. All right. That should have been the easier one. This will be the advanced sleight of hand one, but my new campers that just came in and some of the older kids, I bet you guys can do this. You're going to take a crayon. Well, first I'll perform it. You just wave, you tap, oh, and it jumps. How? I don't know. <laughs> it just happens. No. Then do it again. So you wave, you tap, oh, but you got to use the magic words, abracadabra. Um, Oh, there it is. So, here's what I'm going to teach you. You are correct. You are secretly, shh, so everyone can hear. You are holding the crayon, and your fingers are going all the way around the crayon. You're going to slowly push it in. As you push at the tip, watch this. Your fingers, because they're surrounding it, and you push forward, it kind of pivots the crayon back up into your hand. You just took it. You go like that, and it'll turn that way so you can pull it out. Right. So a little tap, and then you push forward, and, you take and that it. kicks it up into your hand. And then you take it. Well, yeah. <laughs> now, for you guys... I'm probably going to break the crayon into a oops, smaller. I think that'll be easier for smaller fingers, but it's the same thing. All your fingers kind of go in a circle around the crayon. You tap, you push forward, and that brings it up into your fingers. You don't normally show the audience that. So it's a tap. Looking here, look where the empty hand is, because that's the hand it looks like it was in. If you look over here, trick's over. Don't look in the other hand. So tap, and then just reach behind your knee, the same knee that the crayon's in. Don't crisscross, that looks a little weird, okay? That looks like you're trying to play an instrument or something. So, does it? Any questions on that? Fingers are surrounding it. You're tapping it gently. You're pushing forward on the tip. That kicks it because your fingers are there. Pivoting it up into the fingers. Look, and it's gone. Who'd like to try that? Let's see, let's see. Young man, come on up. What's your name? Red. I'm sorry? Red. Red? Love it. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Red. Well, hold on. Let me get a crayon, too. We'll do it together. All right. Ready, Red? Fingers all around it. Gently tap it a couple times. Push forward on that tip. Kicks. Oh, it's going to kick up into the same hand that's tapping it. Yeah, so tap, try to, so in, tap, push forward, and it kicks up. Yes! Yes, Red, now show that empty. Holy cow! Ladies and gentlemen, Red!
Nice. Yes, I want the crayon. <laughs> you got it. Nice job. You got that twice in a row. Oh. I don't know what. Uh, we'll work on that. <laughs> Round of applause for Red. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? Let's see, young lady. What's your name? Caddy. Caddy. Come on up. <laughs> right here. Do you need ready to try it? What? Remember, turn to the audience. Show them your smiling face. Oh, all the fingers around it. It's in the middle. So, yeah. Now gently tap. I tap at the fingers. And then you're going to push forward. And it's going to go up into the same hand that's tapping it. Whoop. So start it like this. Okay. Turn a little bit. So you, now, gently tap. Watch me. You push forward. It kicks it up into that hand. Oh, that's why. Don't do it with your palm. Do it with your fingertips. Fingertips. So it kicks right up in there. Fin yeah, wait, no, fingers way, way up. Yeah. So way, no, that hand out. Those fingers. Fingertips. Kick. Push it. Yeah, push it up in there. Curl the fingers a bit. Kind of. So, one more time. Watch me. Fingers all around it. Fingertips way up. No, not, not the palm. You keep wanting to go forward. Right at the fingertips. Push down. Now watch. Push forward. That's it. That's it. Good. Good job. Round of applause for this young lady. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's got their hand up? The young lady in the green shirt. What's your name? Abigail. Abigail, ladies and gentlemen. Abigail. So turn to the audience. Fingers are nice. Gent tap at the fingertips. Push forward. Kicks it back there. Well, Abigail is a pro. Woohoo! Nice job, Abigail. See, that wasn't so hard. Nobody threw eggs or tomatoes. Who's next? Are you ready to try it? Come on up. What's your name? Riley. Riley. Excellent. What a coincidence. Some fell. Okay. Oh, you need the small one. Sorry. <laughs> Fingers all around it. Turn to the audience. Watch me. You're going to gently tap at the fingertips, and it's going to kick, push forward, so it goes right up into the hand that's tapping, and then blow. Nice, Abigail! No, is it Abigail? Riley. Riley, that was Abigail. <laughs> Who's next? Yes! And then next. You had a. Oh, I didn't even see you there. You're next. No, no. You're next, and then you're after him, is what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your name? Alex. That's the name I wanted in another life. All right. Guys, let's watch Alex. Show going on. Shh. Alex. Fingers around. This one comes up, gently taps, push forward. That kicks it up into the same hand that's tapping. So it's going to, oh, you have the right idea, but kick it up into this hand. The hand that's tapping, watch, pushes it, kicks it up. So that hand should be here. Push it and let it kick up into there. Up in like that. And now show it empty. Nice, nice, nice. Nice job, nice job. You're Alex? Nice job, Alex. And what's your name? Lavender. Lavender? That is an awesome name. I have it. All right, Lavender. Let's show them what you got. Fingers together. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Lavender. Tap. That's it. And blow. 
Holy cow, we got a pro! Nicely done, Lavender. Right. Oh. oh, you got it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes! And then... Oh, all right. Uh oh. Together, fingers, yep. Gently tap. Push down but forward, and that kicks it up. Oh, you're going to kick it up into the same hand that's tapping it. So it's going to kick up into here. Gent yeah, 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 you had it. See how it kicks up? And then show the other hand empty. Nice, nice. Nice job, Dax. High five, nice job. Yes, have you been up here? No. What's your name? Jameson. Jameson? Come on up. Love it, nice name. All right, Brown, turn to the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, Jameson. It's gonna tap right up into here. So it pivots, it pivots up into the same hand that's tapping. You push forward, that pivots it. Okay, show that empty. All right, good job. Good first attempt, Jameson. Love it. One more, one more, and then I think we'll have some performances. I didn't do it. How about my friend in the back there in the blue shirt? Come on up. What's your name? Tyler. Tyler. Come on up. That's your brother? He didn't admit that. What's your name? I just heard that name before. Oh, that was you. You told me. All right, Tyler. Show the crayon. Gent fingers around it. Good. Gently tap. Go slow. Push down and forward. And because it's, the fingers are around it, it pivots it up into this hand. So watch, into the same hand that's tapping. Oh, I'll do the same hand as you, maybe that'll help. Pivots it up, yep, but you're gonna catch it up in here. Pivot, let those fingers go in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And then show the empty hand. Hey! Woohoo! All right, you wanna try? All right, come on up, what's your name? You brought, that looks like a quarter. Bryson. What's your name? Bryson. Hi, Bryson. Go ahead. Put the coin down for now. I won't take it. I already collected enough for tolls. All right. Turn around. Watch. Fingers around it. All the fingers are around it. Then gently tap. Nope. Not at the palm. At the fingertips. Push forward. It pivots. Yeah, 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 it's, that's it. Pivots in. No, you had it. Pivots in. Oh, no, no, don't take. Let it pivot into there. And then show. Nice. All right, nice job. These are difficult. Um, so what some of you missed at the beginning, I'll do a quick recap. Jumping rubber band. It jumps from two fingers to the other. It's on your first two, jumps to the other two. All behind your back. I know, good stuff, huh? So, see what happens? You gotta show up on time, guys. <laughs> I know, she said we're throwing everyone with 10.30. I mean with 10. All right, watch, we pull back. All four fingers go in, but from the front it still looks like two. So again, pull the rubber band back, all four fingers go in, under the first knuckle. If it goes up too high, it will fall off early. Then all you have to do is open your hand, and it automatically jumps. See that? Automatically jumps. One more time. Well, because you've got it on two, and you put it on four behind here, when you open, watch, I'm going in slow motion, 
It just kind of jumps to the other two. Make sense? Who would like to come up and try this? Yes, come on up. And you're next. Let's get you a smaller one. Smaller, is that smaller? No, that's not small. Oh, that is. Try that. Yep, started on two. What's your name? Ruth. Ruth? Ladies and gentlemen, Ruth! Pull. No, you're going to pull it back. So back here. No, no twisting. Straight back. Put all four fingers in, even the pinky. Now just open. Yes, Ruth, first time! Ruth, woohoo! Uh, oh, come on up. You haven't been up yet. Come on up. What's your name? Charlotte. What is it? Charlotte. Charlotte. What a pretty name. Well, thank you. All right. Ready? Turn to the audience. Hello. Open. Pull back. All four fingers go in. Yep, 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 yep. Whoop, right down there. And now hold it up and open. Woo! Nice, nice, Charlotte. Do we have another volunteer? Yes, young lady. What's your name? Jaden? All right, Jaden. Put it on first two fingers. Or, yeah, those two work too. Ready? Doesn't matter. As long as it's on two. Pull back and put all four fingers. In. So when you pull back, watch. All you're doing is putting all four fingers in. Now when you open, open. Boom. Yes. Nice job. That was it, Jaden. Nice job. Round of applause for Jaden. Yes, yes. Oh, are you ready? You're ready? Come on up. And then I want to try some of the card miracles. Oh, turn. What's your name? Hattie. Hattie. Round of applause for Hattie, guys. So on two, pull back. It, it can start on any two, but I, yeah, that's a good way to start. Then pull back, put all four fingers in. You don't have to pull it back so far. All four fingers go in, all four of them. And now you just open. That's it. That was it, Hattie. All right. Automatic card discovery. Who? Oh, you, did you got? Were you guys here for that? Yeah. All right, let's do it. One re, another recap. Shh. Watch. Secret maneuver. Secret prep. On the bottom of the deck, you flip one card over. So all the cards are going the right way, except one on the bottom is the opposite. That's your secret maneuver. You have someone choose a card. While they do that, behind your back, you're going to flip the entire deck over. All you got to do is turn it, put it in the other hand. Flip it over. Now that makes them all face up, except for the bottom card which is now top. Push, ask them to push it in. Put your thumb behind so they can't push. Yeah, there we go. You can finish it. Now, here's what's happened. You've got one card face down amongst all the face up cards. You've got to turn this top card over. You can turn around, that's the easy way, and just turn it over. Or if you want to get more advanced behind your back, you turn it over. But again, that would be that would be like this, so they don't see. But for you guys, I would recommend just the easy way. Turn over, come back, wave, snap, say magic words, abracadabra, and show their card is face up. Who would like to try that? Yes, young lady. What's your name? Emily. Round of applause for Emily. 
What's the first thing you got to do, Emily? Turn one card over before the trick starts. One card is fa oh, face up on the, like that on the bottom. On the bottom. Spread. Have someone choose a card. Maybe a friend. I don't know. Anyone. Now, behind your back, you're going to flip the deck over while she's showing the card. That way, when you come back, it's like that. Nope, don't spread it. Don't spread it. It's good. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Now, Emily, have her put the card back face down. Don't spread. Don't spread. Let her push it in. Good. Come back. Behind your back, flip that top card over. Yep. Now come back and show everyone that her card, oh, it's towards the bottom, I saw it, is now face up. Yes, it was. One more person want to try this. Lavender. Oh, and then this young man. All right, what do you got to do first, Lavender? Your dance? So you can incorporate some dance while you... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was joking. Yes. Have someone choose a card. Oh, even Mom. Okay, Mom. Woo! All right, ask her to put it back. Oh, did you flip the deck over? Oh, man. You're welcome to come. There are plenty of seats if you want to come forward. I won't saw you in half. I already have volunteers for that. Yay! Did you get it? Yeah. Did you remember to flip that over, though? Yeah. Okay. Good job. Lab. You're up. What's your name? Devin. 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 Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Devin. Oh, <laughs> so for first, first prep, remember, it's got to be flipped up on the bottom. One card on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I grab. You have them choose a card. Choose a card. Oh. Now you're going to flip the deck over. Did you do that? So that it's, yeah, like that. Okay. All fit, yeah. So when she puts it back, now it'll be the opposite. Okay. Now, behind your back, flip that top card over. Oh, yo, the fancy way, yes. All right. And now wave and say, look, your card has gone face up. Yeah, I'm magical now. Nice, Trevor. Nice job. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, quick little, um, you've learned three magic tricks. That is a lot to learn in one hour time period. Three, there are golden rules, guys. Three golden rules to learning magic. One. Who knows one of the golden rules of magic? Never reveal your secrets. Louder, that was perfect. Never reveal, your secrets. Never reveal your secrets. Listen to what I'm about to say. If mom and dad weren't here or your grandparents, whoever, even to your relatives, your family, don't tell the secrets. Share every other secret, but not magic secrets. Why? You're going to perform this, let's say, to dad tonight or Grammy and Grandpa, or whoever, and they're going to be amazed, and they're going to say, how did you do that? Guess what? You don't tell them. <laughs> the mystery is gone once you tell. Then it's over. Now you've got something you can show them once a week, once a month. Rule number two, that's why I said once a week, don't show the same trick twice in a row to the same audience. Why is that? Same reason, magic is a mystery. Once they see what happens, 
Now they can start to watch where are the fingers, what are they doing? They're a little more observant. Now they know what the effect is. That's why you don't do it twice in a row to the same person or a group of people. Third, how many of you play an instrument? Anyone? How do you get good at it? Practice. Same thing with magic. People have the sad idea that if you know the secret, you're all set. Trevor saw me. He didn't know how to do it. I had to help him. Magic takes practice. In fact, I say the third golden rule is practice, practice, and more practice. All right? Guys, thank you and ladies for coming out today. Hope you had a lot of fun. Enjoy learning these tricks. Practice 10 times tonight or tomorrow before you show mom and dad, Grammy, grandpa, whoever you're going to show. Give yourselves a round of applause for coming out.